Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reef. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make custom mounts for castles or pretty much anything. All right, thanks again for joining me on another episode of Parker's Reef, and this one will probably be a pretty quick one. I just wanted to share with you what I've done to build up these custom mounts for my Kessel A360X, and I'll open up the uh, hood so you can have a look. You can see I've got these lights mounted, curved around with a magnetic reflector on the Kessels. It's gonna allow me to angle these Kessels anywhere I want. So at the moment, they're all just pointing straight down, but if, for instance, I wanted to point this one off to the side, I can, or if I want to point it back this way, I can, or I can easily maneuver that anywhere I want to. The components to build these and to mount these are really pretty easy to get hold of, and they're also fairly cheap. So I figured I'd run through the process and maybe it'll help a few of you guys out there. All right, so get the job done. I'm using my Kessel A360X lights. Now, just to demonstrate things, I've got my refugium light here, so ignore the uh, settings on the back, but realistically, it works with any of the Kessel range. And also, you could probably adapt this to pretty much any light or any other device that you wanted to mount um, using the lock line. Now, I've kind of given away the next component there, and that is a lock line. I use the uh, three quarter inch black lock line. I find that it's just got good, uh, it, good holding power. Um, it's reasonable size when it's mounted to a Kessel. It doesn't look like it's um, drastically too big or too small, and it holds them in place. It's still, it's, it's just the right size to use. So get some lock line. And then what makes the real magic happen are these, if I get the right part, these little adapter pieces. Lockline make these bits with a uh, flat plate on the end with a uh, six mil hole on the bottom there, which allow you to grab a, uh, grab a bolt. So for the Kessel, I use an M5 bolt, and then you just screw that into the uh, mounting hole of the Kessel. And now it gives you a lock line mount for your Kessel. Now, from there, you can pretty much grab your, uh, whatever length of um, knuckles you wanna use, and click them on. Now, where things get a little bit tricky is how do you mount the other end? If you grab another one of the uh, adapters, you'll find that uh, with all lock line things, you've got a basically an inner and an outer knuckle. And if I clip this onto here, I then can't clip this onto there because <laughs> they're both inner knuckles. That's where the other secret component comes in. That's the uh, double joiner. Click this one on there. Which can be quite tricky. Then you can put your other joiner. and your Kessel is ready to mount. Now, obviously you can mount that any angle you want, straight up. You twist it back on itself, have it back down, point it straight at the camera, whatever you want. Now, being the lock line, genuine lock line fittings, you can go all sorts of crazy bits. If you wanted to, you could put a uh, 90 degree elbow in there. You could have a really long mount. You could have a really short mount. If you just wanted to run something like, something like that. Mount that to your Kessel, put that wherever you like. Now, obviously the other end where you mount that, that's gonna depend on your application. If you've got um, T-slot like I do, you could run a little, uh, you could run a, a titanium bolt or a stainless bolt with a uh, little T-nut on the end that will allow you to put it in your T-slot. Or even though I've got T-slot, I've actually drilled a hole all the way through. So I can put the bolt all the way through the T-slot and then uh, just using a titanium nut, secure it on there. I'll show you what it looks like on my tank. I'm super happy with it. I'll put all the part numbers in the description down below so that um, if any of you guys are after any of these parts from Lockline, you can hit them up. I ordered mine from Modular Hose, but I um, also went in with my local fish shop and ordered a bunch of parts so we could share shipping. I think that's about all there is to cover, guys. I hope it's interesting for you out there. It sort of came to me when I was looking at Lockline for uh, handling liquids for uh, the return part. Um, return lines, and I thought that'd be a really cool way to mount some stuff. I was actually looking for a way to mount a Kessel to my uh, tripod so that I could take some photos with uh, some real directional light um, when I'm taking some pictures of corals and fish, and I thought that'd be a really nifty way to mount the Kessels on my display tank. And um, 
one order through module hose and here we are. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, feedback, pop it in the description, or sorry, pop it in the comment section down below. As always, um, if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, please do so in that bottom corner down there, hit that button. Cost you no money, take two seconds of your time. It'll really help me out on this venture. And last but not least, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will let other, other reefers know that it was good and they should watch it. And hopefully you might save them a fortune on buying some sort of official mount for their uh, lights when uh, they can fashion their own out of good old fashioned lock line. Thanks guys, see you next time.